Hello everybody, welcome to another week, another episode, another whatever of Game of Thrones. I'm Neg Primer, and uh, this is of course the Telltale version of Game of Thrones, and we are all set to begin episode 5. And once again, the way that we're doing this is we're recording the whole thing all at once over the weekend before I start airing these. So, if you guys make any comments, if you want me to do... if there's something I need to address or anything, I won't be able to address it till next week, but I'll be glad to do so then. If you want something that's a little bit more responsive that I can re react to right away, then go over to my XCOM playthrough. Uh, and I can name a character after you, we can actually, you know, have you in the game. And that's something I put those videos up as soon as they're recorded, so there is no front-loading on that one. But this one, since it's mostly story-based and I don't have really any time to talk for extensive periods, I kind of keep it on the more personable side, I guess. The more uh, Previously less talky, on Game of less Thrones. Talky -talky. You'd help the Second Sons, guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. You think you got a reason for the wildling? No. I'm, uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister. Sylvie. Said she looks like a Targaryen. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. I want you to keep an eye on everyone. You never know who you can trust. I'll... I'll do my best. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Crazy psychopath. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. She's a little uh, young, young for you. <laughs> or maybe your mother. Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'll never marry either of them. Yeah, oh, that was a lot more accusatory. Awfully long time. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. Uh. God damn it. Very well. Was easy. God damn it. There. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Oh. You're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. Or you don't trust your men with her. Creepy ass fucking weirdo. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. 
polite of you to ask. <laughs> Dick move, buddy. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. Oh, there it is, of course. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Alright, everybody, sorry about that. I actually, uh... That was my vet. I've had dog issues, but, uh, she's okay for right now. Very good at finding people. Roderick? It's alright, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ladsa. Now should I know? Griff and his men are not my concern? My concerns are your concerns. I assume you forgot that when you took them prisoner. Oh, I really hoped things might be different for you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. <laughs> but there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Oh, no. Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespect me. Someone has to pay. You didn't think it would be you. Your damaged goods. Someone else has left over. Uh... Our sister has influence in King's Landing. She'll hear of this. King's Landing is very far away. Stop! Stop! Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! Please, please! Talia, don't look away. It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Don't look. Please. Look at him, Talia. Is this really necessary? See what your brother's done. Please, please. Lord Mountain. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> Arthur would be safe at home with his fat father if it weren't for Rodri. This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. <laughs> All lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. See, the problem here is that clearly Go we on. know. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. We already know, Ram. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. We already know Ramsey makes it Your through little this. brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a whole fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. There's no need for war. Lud and I have already come to terms. I've just given you the terms. They're not negotiable. 
One house left standing. Yours? Or that? And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Ah, ready the horses? Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. I don't know, I feel like Ramsey bugs me a lot more in the TV show. I mean, he's kind of a douchebag either way. But... I don't know, he feels a lot less just... Like, he feels... In the TV show, he feels like he's there because... Joffrey is no longer. So we need somebody new to hate. <sighs> Whereas in the TV, in the, in the books, it's just kind of an asshole. Like, there are plenty of people to hate, and it seems like the the TV show just tries to make you hate these few characters. So maybe it's time to cut them down rather than just sit there and stare at them. Yep, there we go. Oh, it's a wheelbarrow. Yep, there's Ramsey. Blood. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Innocent blood shed on forester lands. What would father think? Like I said, in the sh in in the book too, he's he is a sadistic asshole. But this, the TV show is just like, yeah, let's just hate him. There's nothing but hate there. And he has no, don't get me wrong, he has no redeeming qualities. In the books, he's, he's a ba he is a bad guy. Oh, I'm so sorry. But it felt like the TV producers wanted a villain. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsey Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. By the gods, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south... Lud makes a show of being strong, but he's no better off than us. Not if the Boltons refuse Where to... is he? Where Sorry. is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! <laughs> Elaine. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No. Arthur, no. Arthur. It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. You can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. 
But he trusted me. He always has. Yeah, well, the fucking Ramsey bastard. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. <laughs> he was so nervous that father called him Quiver. Eh, uh, I get it. And now to die. Like this. Tortured. Mutilated. Ramsey Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsey was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies. Well, that's one way to look at it. Why not? I'm sorry. Someplace more. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Uh, know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. Yep, <laughs> this is a good point. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick, right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. So, yeah, Ramsey said he wouldn't he wouldn't intervene, but then he totally intervened. <laughs> right off the bat, by sending everybody home. Ah, there you are. So it only works if he also keeps the army at base. Uh, the army at base. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira. I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros, in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Oh. It was all in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira. I... You're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. Oh, that's not she fair. be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. See, I understand. You know how much I need this marriage. Sarah, you can't mean this. I understand wanting to keep your distance a little bit. I actually do understand that, but... <laughs> I really am. But... I... just can't anymore. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family? No. Nothing's worth losing your friendship over, Sarah. I would have said the same thing once. Aw, oh, come on! You're being mean now. Thank you for your help. They'll be very grateful. Better go before she sees me. She already You're a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Okay, what was that glare about? Was she mad at the Lannister guards or was she mad at me? Come on, Beska, listen. How can you still be angry at me? Is that a joke? I had Dezozaraza in my hand and you made me let him go. You know why. Yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over my one chance of revenge. And for what? There's no way this Dragon Queen comes through. Enough! 
Your revenge would have cost me everything. It'd what? Be worth That's... It to see him dead. Oh, and you'd explain that to my family's corpses. <laughs> That's not quite the direction I wanted that to go. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asher. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. But you denied me that. I... Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get our beer. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Yeah, her name is Danny. Damn it. My nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? None worth repeating. The battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. Nothing out of the ordinary, Your Grace. We fulfilled your orders. To the letter, if reports are true. I hear you know how to follow orders, despite your friend's efforts to make you stray. You told me Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling the truth. You have proved yourself an honorable warrior. You have my gratitude. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second son. Ah, oh, don't grace the The mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold on. This is why you denied me my revenge? What did I tell you? You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. Yeah, but you're still not giving me what In you truth, promised. We are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss of those we've loved. And we both struggle to do what's right. Yeah, but you're not doing anything. <laughs> it can hit on her. Uh, let's talk you favorite. said something about not leaving empty-handed? Don't make me change my mind. You know, you're not giving me what you promised. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. Money? This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Noreen. Apologies, Your Grace. But we need fighters now, not gold. Gold can buy many things. A sellsword like you should understand that. A new day is. Yeah, but if that were the case, then you the would have use it. Off their there are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. If it were that simple, you See would have you already recruited them. To I have other plans for you, Malcolm. What? Plans for me, Your Grace. Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. What? I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. No, she can kind of go fuck herself right I'd now. Seriously consider staying in Essos. I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You'd abandon us with the White Hills at our doors. Yeah. We need every sword. What's a sword to a dragon? Just think what this alliance might mean for your house. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what we're waiting for, let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. 
They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I don't think this is a good plan. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So yeah, this is so, episode exactly five, so we have to wrap everything up. Now We're two thirds of the way through. Slaves, I had to guess. I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. 